everyone welcome back to my youtube channel my name is shante thompson and if you're new here welcome if you're not new here welcome back so today i want to talk to you about five tips just five just five tips to get through navy boot camp um so let's get right into it so my first tip to you is know your stuff okay don't be one of those that just join not knowing what the fuck is going on like do your research i know some people like the thrill of it of not knowing but when i say know your stuff i mean know what you need to know before you get there you have to know your general orders your rank of recognition you need to know your sailor's creed i'm at a school i've been out of um boot camp and i still have to be saying my sailor's creed okay know your stuff when you get there it's way more easier like your process the only thing you have to focus on is like what's at hand because the time that they give you to study is not really like they're not gonna baby you for the first week okay you might mess up a little bit they expect that but it's like when you keep fucking up on week seven you about to graduate and you still don't know the difference between a chief and a petty officer now that's a problem i studied all of mine in my debt program study the start guide and then your life will be fucking smooth after that like you will be fine i've been studied my general orders and i still remember them to this day and there's people that just got out of boot camp and they still don't know what's the 11 general order how well, let's not get into that. When you get there, you need to already know your shit. Just at least know half of it. God damn. You know what I'm saying? Number two, take the PT session serious, okay? I know when you get there, you'll be like, what the fuck is this? And sometimes it's like annoying because you don't want to be doing all that dumb shit. I get it. But you need to take it serious, especially for the people that's trying to get their body the way how they want to, you know, that beach body. Um eat right you know what i'm saying when you go to the galley don't be trying to i know you be hungry but they portion you but still portion yourself if you can if you're trying to reach a goal okay but take the workout serious because they it makes a difference and it's a reason why they have these generated for like you know us because it helps you to you know get your run time down it does it does like it help a whole lot only if you take it serious though the sustained runs it helps a lot don't be walking don't you can't even walk they don't fucking yell at you they don't tear your ass up so just jog it out push through it and get it over with okay take the workouts serious pay attention to detail i cannot stress this enough just pay attention like it's not that hard listen uh oh my god there's so much people that have so many other fucking experiences and then when they get in these classes or when the rdc is training them how to fold this and how to do that they want to tell them what to do or be like oh no this is how this is done or um they want to go ahead i remember one time somebody did that he was showing us step by step mind you some of us already fucking know but you know, you still gotta pay attention to detail. You know, he's teaching you step by step. Just follow with him, you know what I'm saying? I remember this girl, she already folded her shit and she was just waiting. You know what he did? He picked up her shit. I was like, oh, cool C story, bro. And threw that shit all the way across the fucking room. You know what she had to do? She had to fucking go get her shit and start over. Because it's just like a, don't try to go ahead of me. I don't care if you already know. Follow with me. If you already know the thing, act like you don't know and just learn it at their pace. Pay attention to detail. Listen, okay? Just pay attention. The stuff is not hard. It's just repetitive. But just pay attention and just go with the flow. Don't take it personal. I cannot stress this enough. Like, the first couple weeks is gonna be hard. It gets better, it gets better. But the first couple weeks, it is going to be really fucking hard. Like, I remember um, my first time getting yelled at, like, it was yesterday. Because I, I don't like when people yell at me. 
I knew it was coming, but I still, that don't mean I like it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that shit. I don't like getting yelled at, bro. But I'm going to give a story time on that. <laughs> I've got yelled at a couple times. I ain't going to cap. But I'll give you a story time on the first time I got yelled at. But it happens, you know? Just don't take it personal. Like, what the freak? These people are literally getting paid to fucking yell and scream at you and tear you down and build you back up. You join the military. You know what you were signing up for. So don't take it personal. They, these people don't know you. They don't know you. They got trained for this. They're getting paid for this. We're getting paid in boot camp to just be uncomfortable for a couple weeks. So do your fucking job and just be uncomfortable and let them do their jobs and make us uncomfortable. It's an experience. They're gonna yell at you. It happens. If you feel like crying, cry. But it's like, it's not that serious, okay? Think of it like these people don't know you, you don't know them. They have their normal lives. This is not how they are 24 seven. They literally put a face on and it's just like a game mode when they see us. You know what I'm saying? So it don't last forever. So don't let that shit get to you. It's supposed to be stressful. Boot camp is not hard. It's just mentally draining, okay? So it leads into my number five which is the quickest way to get out of boot camp is to graduate some people they try to say like okay i cannot take this anymore i want to go home like this is too much for me they get asthma or they get into separations but it's like you don't get to get sent home just like that no you have to be in a different location with all the people that want to go home or are supposed to go home and you have to wait and wait and wait you have to wait a long time just to go home okay they're not just gonna okay you want to go home fine sign you up ticket already bought you can go ahead no it's not like that no you literally have a longer wait there i'm not saying don't go to medical but if it's not that serious don't go to medical you'll be fine but if it is that serious go ahead and get yourself checked out because your health come first and all that stuff but if it's not that serious man like some of y'all just be going to medical for no damn reason you know what i'm saying it is not that deep. You'll be fine. You're just trying not to run. You're just trying not to da 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 da. You're trying to be in bed, LD, SIQ, chilling, and then you're gonna get set back. And then your division leaves you. You get asthma. So the quickest way to get out of that situation is to graduate and get the fuck off that base. So like I said before, boot camp is definitely not hard. You can do it. I think anybody can do it. It's just do you have the mental strength to get through it do you some people don't it happens it is what it is but you know if you go with a mindset that yes i can do this and you take this shit serious then you'll definitely get through it it's not hard wake up on time do what you gotta do it's, you know what i'm saying it's a lot of y'all so you cannot just wake up whenever you feel like it you gotta wake up ahead of the game so you can brush your teeth and have fucking time do whatever you gotta do you know, be that person that try to make a difference, set an example, know your stuff so you don't be fucking making them look stupid. You know what I'm saying? Just take the initiative, have integrity, accountability, be respectful, listen, pay attention to detail. You will be fine. It's not the end of the world. That means get through this process and you'll be fine. Just to listen to your RDCs and get it over with. If you follow these rules, five tips that is so easy, you'll be thanking me later, bro. Like, straight up, you'll be thanking me. So with that being said, go ahead, go find a recruiter. Join the Navy, bro. <laughs> yeah, if you have any questions, please please comment and ask your questions away i will try my best to respond follow me at instagram at c shante underscore and please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video guys bye